Today I'm going to talk about the module called Interfund Management. Many not-for-profit companies use this to manage due-to-do due fund balances from fund to fund. And a lot of for-profit companies use it to balance due-to-do due from within segments. So if they have a database that has multiple companies in it, and each company is designated by a segment, the Interfund Accounting module will help create due-to-do-from or intercompany transactions. Let's review the setup of this. In the Financial Series, under Setup, we're going to choose Interfund Management. Now if you own the Intercompany module, you also own Interfund Management. Now, the first thing you do is define which segment of your chart of account is the designator of your funds. And then you're going to choose a segment for your clearing fund. And this will be where uh, the due to do from is balanced against. And then you have two options, single due to do from and clearing fund or central treasury. The easiest method to set up is the single due to do from account, where you simply create a due to do from account for each uh, segment or each account in the segment you've identified. Now this is easy to use but it doesn't do a lot of tracking between each individual transaction to do balancing. If you want to do that you'll need to choose clearing fund. So it'll do a transaction in do to do from and also put it in clearing fund so you can balance the two out together. Now a couple things that you want to note. You will need to have the segment 000 set up if that is your clearing fund number and you'll have no clearing fund account there. You'll also need to make sure that on the clearing fund you're using the same segment that you've set up as your clearing fund number here. Now and then you just simply click on activate interfund management. So let's do a general ledger transaction and see this in action. So in general ledger I'm going to simply do a transaction and you know what let's state this in May 2017 and we'll call this repairs and maintenance. Oops. Uh, repairs allocation. So the first thing I'm going to do is to look up on the account number for repairs and I'm going to allocate for example um, how about some repairs from the sales department. So I'll expense $500 there come from my admin account. So this will create my do to do froms for me. Now normally if you print out the posting journal this is exactly what you're going to see. But this time let's post and we'll print the journal and let's see what happens now that we're using Interfund. You can see quite a few accounts and transactions listed here as a result. You see the debit and the credit for the accounts that I listed but you also see the clearing accounts used for each of those departments along with due to do from accounts. So it's managing for me the due to do from accounts. And it actually creates the due to do from where department 300 now um, uh, is owed $500 from department 100. Let's look at it under inquiry. We'll pull up the sales department and we see the account listed right there. And if you do a drill down, you could see the journal entry as it was keyed in with all the do to do froms associated with it. Now, let's put in our do to do from account for this particular department. And now you see the credit balance here as well. So we can track that transaction as we go along. This is an amazing way to create intercompany transactions, keeping everything in balance and being able to prove those balances. It'll save you a lot of time if you're managing this manually. I hope this helps.